Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a plus b, this is equal to 10, let's call this equation 1, a times b is equal to 150, let's call this equation 2. So what is the value of a and what is the value of b? Let's prevent the solution from here. Now, from equation 1, which is a plus b, this is equal to 10. Let's make b to be the subject of the formula. In this case, we'll have b equal to 10 minus a. Let's call this equation 3. Now, let's substitute equation 3 into equation 2. Remember, equation 2 is a, b is equal to 150. Substituting b here, we have a times b is 10 minus a. This is equal to 150. Therefore, here we have 10 times a, this is 10a, minus a times a, this is a squared, this is equal to 150. Now, let's take 150 on the left-hand side, so that here we have 10a minus a squared minus 150, this is equal to 0. Now, let's rearrange this equation so that we have minus a squared plus 10a subtract 150 this is equal to 0 now let's divide everything here by minus 1 so minus a squared divide by minus 1 this becomes a squared then plus 10a divide by minus 1 this becomes minus 10a then minus 150 divide by minus 1 this is the same thing as plus 150 this is equal to 0 from this quadratic equation here, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 10, and we have that c is equal to 150. So to solve for a1, a2, we apply the quadratic formula, that's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac everything here divided by 2a. Let's substitute the values of a, b, and c from here so that we have minus minus 10 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is minus 10 squared subtract 4 times a which is 1 then times c which is 150 everything here divided by 2 times 1. So here we have minus times minus 10, this is equal to 10, plus or minus the square root of minus 10 squared, this is equal to 100, subtract 150 times 4, this is equal to 600, everything here divided by 2. So here we have 10 plus or minus the square root of 100 minus 600, this is minus 500, everything here divided by 2. So that now, the next step here, we have 10 plus or minus, we can express the square root of minus 500 as 100 times 5, then times minus 1, everything here divided by 2. So here we have 10 plus or minus the square root of 100 times 5 times minus 1 over 2. So this implies here we have 10 plus or minus the square root of 100. This is equal to 10. The square root of minus 1. This is i. Then square root of 5. Everything here divided by 2. Now, here we have that 2 is common in the numerator here. So we can factor out 2. So that's in the now here we have 10 plus or minus 10i square root of 5 over 2. So this implies we can factor out 2 so that we have 2 into the parentheses. This is 5 plus or minus 5i square root of 5. Everything here divided by 2. So let's simplify 2 here. So that now here we have 5 plus or minus 5i square root of so this implies that from here we have that a1 is equal to 5 plus 
5i square root of 5 and a2 is equal to 5 minus 5i square root of 5. So let's solve for the corresponding values of b, b1 and b2. Now if you recall, we have that b is equal to 10 minus a. So this implies that b1 is equal to 10 minus a1. a1 here is 5 plus 5i square root of 5. So this implies a. This is 10 minus 5, which is equal to 5, minus times plus 5i square root of 5. This becomes minus 5i square root of 5. So this implies that the first set of solution here, a1 comma b1, this is equal to 5 plus 5i square root of 5. Then b1 here, it's 5 minus 5i square root of 5. So this is the first set of solution that we have. Let's solve for b2, which is equal to 10 minus a2. a2 is 5 minus 5i square root of 5. So this implies that here we have 10 minus 5. This is equal to 5. Minus times minus 5i square root of 5. This becomes plus 5i square root of 5. Therefore, the second set of solution here, we have a2, b2, and this is equal to, this is 5 minus 5i square root of 5, and then we have b2, which is 5 plus 5i square root of 5. See, we have two sets of solutions here, a1, B1, and A2, B2. Now, the next step here is to verify that these two sets of solutions satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall here, we have that A plus B, this is equal to 10, and we have that A times B, this should give us a value of 150. Let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2. Now, let's verify the first set of solution, A1, B1, by applying equation 1. So this implies that we have 5 plus 5i, <coughs> square root of 5, then plus 5, subtract 5i, square root of 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 10. Now, 5i square root of 5, Minus 5i square root of 5, this simplifies. So that now we have 5 plus 5, which is equal to 10. And this is equal to 10. And this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. So this implies that the first set of solution, A1, B1, satisfies the equation. Now let's check for A2, B2, this set of solution by applying equation 2, which is A times B, this is equal to 150. Now by applying equation 2, which is A, B is equal to 150. So like A times B, this is supposed to give us a value of 150. So we have A2, B2, which is 5 minus 5i square root of 5. So this is 5 minus 5i square root of 5 multiplied by 5 plus 5i square root of 5 this is supposed to give us a value of 150 therefore this implies that here we have 5 multiplied by 5 plus 5i square root of 5 cross the bracket minus 5i square root of 5 multiplied by 5 plus 5i square root of 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 150. Therefore, we have 5 times 5. This is 25. Then we have 5 times 5i square root of 5. This is plus 25i square root of 5. 
subtract 5i square root of 5 times 5. So this is actually equal to 25. i square root of 5. Minus 5i square root of 5 times plus 5i square root of 5. This becomes minus 25. 5 times 5 is 25. i times i, this is i squared. Then we have square root of 5 times square root of 5. This is the same thing as square root of 25. This should give us a value of 150. The next step is that 25i square root of 5 minus 25i square root of 5. This simplifies. So that now here we have 25 minus 25 times i squared. Remember i squared, this is the same thing as minus 1. So let's substitute this. So it's minus 25 times minus 1. Then times square root of 25. This is equal to 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 150. So we have 25 here. Minus times minus. This is plus. Then 25 times 5. This is 125. This is supposed to give us a value of 150. So this implies that 125 plus 25, this is 150, which is equal to 150. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that A2B2 satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.